We're happy to come back to you again uh, in our continued conversation. Uh, and this time, I want us to focus on a very, very important agenda that is in the minds of all uh, the Kenyans. This particularly directed to the Christian community in Kenya about how we pray for our nation as we go towards the general elections in August uh, the 9th this year. Uh, the Bible does tell us in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petitions and thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Anxiety is, a, is something terrible to allow, to, to, to allow uh, ourselves to get into. Uh, we need to understand, wherever we are, one of the core that we all have is to be peacemakers. And since we are scattered across the country as, 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 as a church, wherever you are, purpose with your heart, you're going to be a peacemaker. Also, let every pastor, every evangelist, every bishop, every apostle, anywhere, learn what it is to give hope to the people so that people don't start uh, panicking and wondering what is going to happen. Because we need to understand there is a God in heaven. And this God rules over all. And he has told us, and this is the key word that I want us to reflect here. Do not be anxious about anything. Now, if God tells you not to be anxious, why do you want to be anxious? And remember, there are things that are your responsibility, but there are things that are not your responsibility. And God will only hold you accountable to what he, uh, he expects you to do. So can we make a decision? There are so many things that nobody can guarantee anyone. I'm one of those people who is very clear in my mind, uh, and this is informed from the Holy Scriptures, that... To, to become a leader of a nation, God himself has to endorse you. And I must tell you this. It is God himself who will allow, who he chooses to allow. It may not be what you expect. It may not be what I expect. But during the 9th of August, God has already, in his, in his uh, foreknowledge, known who it is he can trust with the people of this country for leadership. Therefore, let us, let us be calm, but let us pray and encourage all the people who listen to us. Don't be anxious. Let's trust the Lord. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love. And we just pray that God, you help the church in this nation to know we have to encourage all Kenyans to know that it is you we trust for peace throughout this season of uh, campaigns, into the primaries and into the elections, the Lord, no life has to be lost. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.